Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Mars races toward Earth for a close meeting and a New Year's Eve blue full moon howl in reminder. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. If you see this episode before New Year's Eve, I'd like to remind you how you can win a telescope by joining our blue full moon New Year's Eve howl in. If, however, you see this show after New Year's Eve, I'd like to show you how to use the moon this Sunday and Monday to find Mars, which will be at its closest and brightest for all of 2010 and 2011 at the end of January. Okay, we've got our sky set up for this New Year's Eve, Thursday evening, December 31st, just after sunset facing east, where you will see an exquisite full moon rising. It will be the second full moon of December. And whenever a month has two full moons, the second one is always called a blue moon, although it has nothing to do with the moon's color. But here is the really nifty part. As hour after hour goes by, the moon will climb higher and higher and reach its highest point above the horizon at midnight, the moment we ring in the new year wherever you happen to be. And because it is a December full moon, it will be extremely high at midnight. This won't happen again for 19 years until 2028. So we suggest you celebrate this year a little differently. Get together a group of 12 or more people and have a full blue moon howling contest between midnight and 1230 and select the best howlers in your group. Award prizes if you like. And if you want a chance to win a telescope for your group, Take a photo or video of your howlers and email them to us at jackstargazer.com where you can also get all the details of this international full moon howling. We'll have a random drawing and your group may win one of 12 brand new beginner's telescopes. This will be a unique way to ring in the new year and you can do it in your own neighborhood. I did it for my neighbors in Miami 19 years ago, and it was the most fun New Year's Eve I've ever had. And now for you planet aficionados, let me just say that the tiny 4,000 mile wide red planet Mars and Earth are coming closer to each other, which means Mars will get steadily brighter every single night until it reaches its brightest on Friday, January 29th and you can start your Mars watch on New Year's Eve while you are out moon howling. Just look east for Leo the lion, who's marked by a sickle-shaped group of stars followed by a triangle. Just above the sickle, Leo's head, you'll see a rouge gold light, and that is Mars. Only 12 degrees away from Regulus, the star which marks Leo's heart. Watch Mars get brighter and brighter every single night. But if you're one of those who has a real hard time finding planets, then go out at midnight this Sunday the 3rd, and you'll see the moon just beneath it, forming a triangle with it and Regulus. And on Monday the 4th, the moon will be just past Regulus, making a nice curved arc with it and Mars. And think of this, on January 1st, Mars will be 69 million miles away. But by January 29th, it will be 7 million miles closer. Wow! Watch it brighten every night and plan now to have your own blue full moon howling New Year's Eve party. Who knows? Your group may win a new telescope. Happy New Year and keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.